Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to create a sphere from sheet metal. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is basically a sheet metal. Don't worry, I will give thickness uh, while making tutorial. So with this, we have created this sphere. Okay, so let's try to understand how I make this. Okay, so go to the file, new, click on part, click OK. First thing you have to do is create a sphere. So select a front plane, click on sketch. Now draw the sketch as per your requirement. So I'm first drawing a circle. Uh, draw the circle diameter as per your requirement. In my case, 200 mm is, I think it's okay. And up to here, escape, trim this line. Go to surfaces. In case, if surfaces is not showing, what you have to do is, uh, just go to the any tab that is shown right click on it click on tabs and select the tab as per your requirement in my case I want surfaces so I've checked on it so go to the surfaces click on revolt surface okay it automatically pick up the center line and this click ok now one uh, the other thing I want is I want the pattern in which I want to you know cut out my sheet metal so let's see how to create this. So first select the front bin, click on sketch, draw a center line, escape, again draw a center line, escape, go here and uh, click on style spline. escape. Uh, here you can see that this arrow this point so you can increase or decrease as per your requirement so you can play with it as per your requirement okay now what we have to do is go to the mirror entities select the entity you want to mirror i want to mirror this line and select the line about which you are going to mirror this one make sure that you checked on copy click ok after that go to the mirror entities again this time select this line and this time make sure that you uncheck the copy click on here and click on this line the reason i uncheck this copy is that this line will go on this uh, this side and this line will will get deleted click ok as you can see now exit the sketch mode go to surfaces click on extrude surface select the line extrude as per your requirement make sure that the path is basically above the sphere surface click ok after that what we have to do is go to the features uh, go here circular pattern it is asking for a center line uh, so there is no center line here so select the front plane click on sketch draw a center line uh, just draw the center line here make sure that you don't start the center line from here there is uh, the reason is that uh, later onwards, I need a point upwards. So if this sketch is there, uh, we will face some issues. Okay. So what we are going to do is go here, circular pattern, select the center line. After that, uncheck this. Click on bodies. Select this body. Uh, you can increase or decrease the number of instances. I think eight is fine. Click OK. After that, go to direct editing. You can also reach this option by go to insert uh, features. And you will find the options here. Okay, that whatever I'm going to use. So I'm going to use split. So select these. After that, uh, make sure that you have selected bodies. Select your sphere. Okay. Click on cut bodies. You will see uh, something like this pop ups. So select. Uh, Seven, eight. Click OK. Now uh, you see. So we have created. Uh, so we have basically divide this sphere by using these things. Now let's hide these unnecessary things. So go here. Select the top one and select this bottom one by pressing Shift. Uh, just click on hide. Now I need to flatten the surface. So how can I do that? So to do it. Go to the uh, surface, 
select a surface as per your requirement. Uh, to flatten the surface, click on flatten. And now it is asking for a point uh, to make it straight. So go here, select this point. As you can see, it is not picking up correctly. So this is the issue I was tagging with sketch. So what I can do is, uh, by pressing control, select all the surfaces that you want to hide for temporary basis. Click on here and hide. Remember, I had it for temporary. Now, go to the surface flatten, select this, go here and select the point here. You can see, now my line is straight, uh, my face is flattened. Now, to see all the surfaces again, uh, select this by pressing shift, select all here, right click on it and click on show. Sorry. Okay, I hide them accidentally. Uh, show. Now, to give the thickness, what we can do is uh, go to the sheet metal, select a face, click on sheet metal. After that, you can enter the increase or decrease the thickness as per your requirement. Let's say 2 mm thickness I want to give 0.2 mm and click OK. So you can see that I have given thickness of 0.2 mm. Uh, the reason I give the small thickness uh, because you know my sphere is quite small 200 mm if i give a large thickness it will look quite odd again it's up to you how much thickness you want similarly you can select all the parts and give the thickness as per your requirement so the my main aim is just to teach how to make a sphere with the sheet metal in solvax okay so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask and about this tool it just basically convert for example if you have made something from features or surfaces and you want to convert into sheet metal then you will use this okay uh, for some people those are wondering if i don't use this what will happen uh, nothing much but if you are going to do simulation uh, at that time your results will get uh, you know wrong results so i recommend convert it uh, for better plus after converting into sheet metals you can use all these features that are shown here okay so I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.